N-acetylcysteine is an inexpensive amino acid that offers profound benefits, and it was almost banned by the FDA. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the changes that would happen in your body if you took a high dose of NAC for 14 days. But before we get started, I'm Dr. Nick Zorowski, and if you haven't done so yet, you're gonna to wanna to be a part of my private health community. It's called Health Club, and in Health Club, we discuss the proper diet that can be followed for all different types of ages and health conditions. We also look at how you can utilize your genetics in order to improve your health, and even give you detailed guides on how to intermittent fast, do three-day water fast, and so much more. I'll put a link in the description below in order to join Health Club today. Now let's take a look at what happens when you take this high dose of NAC. So first of all, let's look at what it does to glutathione. Now, if you're not familiar with glutathione, it's one of the most powerful antioxidants in your body. It's very important for keeping you healthy. In fact, if the cell was depleted of glutathione, what would happen is the cell would die. So we need to make sure that we have high levels of glutathione in our body. Now, what NAC will do for this is it'll actually help boost up those levels of glutathione because it's a precursor for it. And as a result, you're going to get so many protective benefits from this very powerful antioxidant. So therefore, we're going to boost glutathione. Now, let's take a look at what it'll do for our liver. NAC is actually going to help with the overall function of the liver, specifically the function of detox. What your liver does is it actually takes all these chemicals that you're coming into contact with in your daily life, whether it's the pesticides and herbicides on your food, or maybe the flame retardants in your clothing. Your liver has to keep you healthy and protect you. And one of the ways that it does this is by taking those toxins and removing them from your body. So when when these toxins go into the liver, they have to be broken down. And because the massive amount of chemicals that your liver has to deal with in today's unhealthy environment, the liver can use a little support. And this is where NAC comes in. It's actually going to help the liver's function in breaking down these toxins so that it can actually eliminate them. So the NAC is going to be really good for liver function. Now let's take a look at your respiratory health. This is a big deal. If you're somebody who's suffering from chronic bronchitis, COPD, asthma, or any type of respiratory issue, NAC is a must have for you. The reality is, is that NAC is going to go and help break down the mucus in your lungs and in the airways so that you can expel it. It acts as a mucolytic. Now, the other thing that NAC will do for you is NAC will help lower the inflammation in your lungs as well. So once again, if you have any type of breathing issues, if you have any type of lung issues, this is something that's a go-to. In fact, we always keep NAC in our home for this reason, because if myself or any of my kids have any type of buildup in their lungs and we're just trying to breathe a little better, we can always use NAC in order to help with getting the mucus out of the lungs. Now it's gonna have that anti-inflammatory effect in your body as well. I mentioned how it's gonna have have an anti-inflammatory effect in your lungs, but in your entire body as well. Because what happens is as you boost glutathione, as you improve the liver function, you're going to find that you decrease inflammation, which will ultimately help you feel better. Aches and pains are a result of a lot of inflammation in the body. You lower that inflammation, you feel so much better, and NAC will help with that in just 14 days. Now, what you're going to find too is it's going to help improve NAC will help improve your mood. So if you're suffering from anxiety or bipolar disorder or schizophrenia or any type of brain disorder, you certainly want to utilize NAC in order to improve brain health. And the way that NAC actually helps improve your brain health is by how it'll impact glutamate in the neurotransmitters within your brain. And I don't want to get in the weeds and make things confusing for you, but just know that NAC is really good for your overall brain health and also even lowering inflammation systemically in your body, which would include your inflammation that could be going on in your brain. Now let's talk about the neuroprotective benefits of NAC. You know, this is really interesting because NAC has been shown to have this neuroprotective benefit and anybody who's, you know, focused on longevity and anti-aging, you want to think about this because whether it's like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or any of these neurological diseases that many people are suffering from, NAC can certainly offer you that neuroprotective benefit that you're looking for. Let's go to immune health because this is a big one. So many people are struggling today with their immune health. Now, what you're going to find is that NAC is going to help boost that glutathione and all of this is a very critical part of your immune system function. Now, the other thing that NAC is going to be really good for in the way of immune health is that it's been shown to help decrease viral replication. So if you're suffering from a virus, NAC will actually help 
kick that virus much quicker than if you didn't use it at all. It's also going to have an impact on your insulin levels, insulin sensitivity. So if you have high blood sugar issues, if you have fatty liver issues, if you're struggling to lose weight, NAC can support that whole process. And really when you do a deep dive into this and you start thinking about how NAC impacts insulin and also your liver and lowers inflammation, you can really start to draw some conclusions as to how it can help somebody who's suffering from type 2 diabetes, somebody who has weight loss resistance, somebody who has fatty liver. It's very beneficial for all of these scenarios. So you're definitely going to improve insulin function. Now, NAC has been shown to also improve cardiovascular health in a couple ways. Well, lowering inflammation is going to be really good for your cardiovascular system, but also it's been shown to lower homocysteine levels, which is related to heart disease, and also lower oxidative damage and stress on the cardiovascular system. So very beneficial there as well. Now, what you might be asking is, well, what is a high dose of NAC? I'm going to take you through what a standard dose is that you could take daily, a dose that would be considered moderate in the middle, and then what a high dose is. So let's start as a daily dose. Why would you want to do a daily dose? Simply because it offers all of these benefits. A low daily dose is somewhere around 600 milligrams per day. And this is what I do regularly in order to actually just help all of these areas of my body, my liver, my insulin levels, my cardiovascular system, my immune system, you name it. So 600 milligrams for that low dose daily maintainer. Now let's say you want to bump it up a little bit, right? You want to start taking that moderate dose. Well, that's going to be around 1200 milligrams per day. Okay. And this is where you might want to take this for a shorter period of time. Maybe you take this for a month at a time, two months at a time, and this is going to really help kickstart some of these areas that you might be struggling with. And especially if you're really struggling in these areas, right? You have insulin resistance, you're concerned about your cardiovascular health, you're dealing with a liver issue, you have COPD, your lungs are suffering, you might start with this dose right here in order to take this for a few months in order to actually get you to where you want to be. Now, Let's go to high dose. Well, according to some of the research, doses as high as 2,000 or 2,400 milligrams of NAC has been used in order to actually turn the tide on people suffering with particular conditions. So if you wanted to go really high dose for a 14-day period in order to actually just start solving some of these problems that you're suffering with in your body, that is also an option as well. So we started with 600 milligram daily maintainer, 1,200 milligram, which can be taken for a longer period of time, maybe that's 60, 90 days, something along those lines, or you can do a higher dose between 2,000, 2,400 milligrams for 14 days in order to really kickstart some healing processes in your body. I will put a link in the description below to the NAC that we utilize clinically and I utilize myself that works very well. So I'll put that in the link below so that you can also have access to good quality NAC that's bioavailable that really works. I'm Dr. Nick Zorowski. Give this video a thumbs up and also share it with your friends who need to hear this information. NAC is powerful. It is going to be inexpensive it's extremely beneficial and it offers widespread systemic benefits across your entire body. It was a pleasure seeing you in this video. I look forward to seeing you in this video next.